common vitamins that we think about are vitamins like vitamin A, the B vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D, uh, folic acid. These are all required for normal uh, uh, biological functions. The uh, cofactors um, are less commonly known, uh, but these would include um, uh, chemicals like uh, coenzyme Q10 and levocarnitine, both of which are produced within the body itself. The purpose of vitamins and cofactors is twofold. Uh, the first is the immediate uh, hope is that uh, the person will feel better when taking vitamins and cofactors. This may be a reduction in headaches, it may be an improvement in fatigue or in muscle strength. The second reason we may want to take vitamins and cofactors is to slow down disease progression. Of course, this is a theoretical benefit because we don't have any real idea of what disease progression is in most mitochondrial diseases. Megadose is, is, a, is a term that really um, has a, a bunch of different meanings. But for example, the normal daily requirement of, uh, let's say, vitamin B12 would be something on the order of uh, three micrograms a day. A microgram is a millionth of a gram. Whereas a dose of vitamin B12 taken orally would be a thousand uh, uh, micrograms a day. Um, or 300, more than 300 times the normal daily requirement. The theory is that vitamins can help improve mitochondrial function. The fact is we don't know if the theory is correct. Because there are hundreds of different mitochondrial diseases, most of them have not been studied and therefore we don't know if any one particular vitamin or group of vitamins uh, is useful in all or most mitochondrial diseases. The first step is to talk to the child's doctor and, and get their advice. And I can only tell you what I tell my patients. Um, I, I do go through a, a disclaimer process in telling them that there's no proof that any one particular vitamin or group of vitamins will be helpful. But because we don't have a lot of options in terms of therapy, it's something that one could consider trying. I tend to start with a a group of five vitamins that I think are worth trying in most people with mitochondrial diseases. These vitamins and cofactors would include coenzyme Q10, riboflavin, alpha lipoic acid, uh, creatine monohydrate, and levocarnitine. Well, after surveying the literature, I think the evidence uh, suggests that for at least patients with the muscular forms of mitochondrial disease, the use of coenzyme Q10 lipoic acid and creatine in that triple combination is effective. Riboflavin has been used for treatment of migraine and treatment of mitochondrial diseases in general. In terms of levocarnitine, I tend to prescribe it in my patients in relatively low dosages. And many patients uh, say they benefit in terms of muscle strength and, and fatigue. One of the neat things going on now is uh, active research looking at a number of different vitamins and cofactors uh, in mitochondrial diseases. So hopefully in a few years we'll have a better idea as to which vitamins, which vitamins may or may not be helpful. <music>